Let's do it. Let's do it. Ask us anything. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on, guys? It's Tony and it's Mark from LoneWolfPaintball.com. And today it's uh, asking us anything. We're going to yeah. be answering their questions. Your questions. From the Facebook group. And all you have to do, if you want your questions answered, post them in the group. And we'll get easy. them posted and online in like three to four weeks later. So if you're in a rush, call the store and get your tech questions. Correct. Uh, but otherwise, post them on here. We'll get to you eventually. If you just we... want to chat with us, here we are. Let's, let's, let's get rolling here. All right. Kicking it off is Luna Estrada says, hey, when is HK Army going to make car seat covers and floor mates? They might as well make paintball dog jerseys and collars. There is no reason not to... Why not to stop bringing more family ass into the sport? Just saying. That's honestly not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, Luna. So, yeah, HK Army, I mean, they make literally everything. They're making gold chains now. I mean, they they have all the, the, the apparel clothing line. Like, Yeah, why are you stopping? Yeah, seat covers. Now, obviously, dirty day of paintball. You don't want to get your car all nasty. So, hey, now, hey, let's. Just steal oh, that idea. I'm gonna, we make the seat covers. Yeah, and would you we want, sell them? Yeah, let's have a lone wolf paintball seat cover. So we and we I already nice made you a dog design. bandana that yeah. was a lone wolf one. Yeah, my dog wears a lone wolf one. So seat covers, I like that because you're dirty, you're nasty from paintball. Yeah. Something you can easily like. We put a sheen on it. Ooh, yeah. easy to clean off. Yeah, okay. You could ultra silk it. Let's all get some money because someone's going to do it if, they, if getting, anybody sees this. Getting paid, fool. Let's do it. It's a good idea, though. Edward says, what's the best, most ex recommended summer gear clothing to play in? Well, I will say this. You're talking summer gear clothing. I have seen a lot of people out there. They wear, like, athletic shorts, and then they put on knee pads. So you're getting breeze up in between your legs, your, your, your private areas, you're getting some flow. Yeah, but it really also, comes down to what you're comfortable in, right? Yeah. Like if you don't mind, I've seen guys play bare shirted with just regular shorts on. Or yeah, like the at the scenario games, like they'll play no shirt with elbow pads on. Yeah. I, it's there is really no, up to you. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're looking for something professional, like Carbon's got really good gear that's lightweight and breathable. Infamous has good stuff that's Correct. lightweight and breathable. I was breathable. gonna recommend their shorts. Uh even HK also makes a very uh, lightweight, their air, like TRK jogger. So, but you can also get away with just the moisture wicking t shirt and some shorts, like you said, and stick some elbow pads and knee pads on for yeah. some protection. So, um, a lot of these companies like Carbon, Infamous, HK, go check out their product lines that we sell them all here on the website at lonewolfpaypal.com. So, there's a lot of options for you. Go there, check it out. A lot of lightweight, uh, moisture wicking, breathable stuff. So, the only thing I'm always protective, no matter what I wear, because I'll go in a t-shirt or even a tank top occasionally, but I always have my slide shorts on underneath yes. my pants because I like to keep my my little personal thingies protected. Your family jewels protected, Mark. Wear some slider shorts that have the pads on below. All right, John Stewart. Oh, I love the Daily Show, man. I'm so glad you're back. Uh, can I lose weight? I don't know. Can you? Most of the guys on my field seem overweight. Let's start with Travis Crawford's answer here because Travis is known for – he was a big boy to begin with. and He, he was. Now he's a tall, young chap. So he's a he's a spectacle. He of, is. Yeah, you can lose weight. And I think the reason it's primarily bigger people uh, – bigger it's primarily bigger people is paintball is expensive. So it typically attracts older people, 25 plus, and by that time you tend to get heavier. Yeah, I mean you're not as, as – agile and athletic and his metabolism as your younger self so here's things about weight right weight is a numbers game burn more calories than you consume right that's the number one thing because your body will will stop you know being bigger get your salads get your lean protein and move your ass yeah move it but you got to get the move on baby and then the second part is you have to be patient because you're going to eat salads and be miserable for a week and hit the treadmill or whatever. And you're going to look the same at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. And you're going, why the am I doing this? And I it's feel a, like it's crap. a lifestyle it's change. It's your body has to adjust and change. You get rid of the sugars and the carbs and all the stupid stuff. And the I ate four meals today and then ate a bag of chips after. Is that why you have your hood on? Were you weight training? I was weight Sweating? <laughs> He's out there boxing like Rocky. But at the end of the day, because watch, I, there's a... There's a lot of these YouTube channels where the people are professional eaters and they're just gorging themselves. They're like, how much did you eat? Like, oh, I had 35,000 calories a day. And one of the guys I like, Beard Meets Food, uh, 
and his channel, somebody asked yeah. him, he said, here's how it worked. He goes, I ate 30,000 calories today. I will work out and not eat, literally not eat anything but water for three days. <laughs> Just to make up the deficit. Just to make yeah. up the deficit yeah. so that it averages out to what he's burning and can maintain the weight. So yes, you can lose weight and it is not easy. And nope. he's like, most of the guys in my field seem overweight. That's probably because they are. We like food. We're grown men. These younger kids out there. And got, it gets harder as you get they older. They got metabolism all over the place. They're out there. They're they're staying active at school and in recess and in sports. Yeah. We're old fat guys yeah. that. Oh, I worked like at food. work. I sat at a desk <laughs> or in a production line Correct. for eight hours. I went home and sat on the couch. You're not moving. I don't care. Yeah. You know, get out there and walk, run, do things. You know, it's not fun, but you can do it. Eat it's your veggies, doable. get your lean protein, and yes, you can do it. We've got faith in you. All right. Edward, Going on to Edward. Looking into purchasing a 180R, question is, is there any major differences between the regular, the HK Army edition, or the infamous version, or is it solely just cosmetics? You nailed it. It's all cosmetics, all the internal functioning between, uh, you know, the Gamma Core that they're using in there. Uh, it's all the same. The milling on the outside, the colorways, that's different, but as for true functionality, the way the board's programmed, the way everything fires and cycles, it's all the same. Exact same guts. Maybe yep. one of them might be getting a different barrel if that's what they're offering in that kit. But yeah, the gun's the same. The in, yeah, the internal of the gun is, there is no difference. Next up, we have Dristen Scheinberg. Schinberg. Torn between the CS3 and the Idol. I use the CS2 and TM40 and enjoy them both with maybe a slight edge with the TM40. The display screen on the grip of the idle throws me off for the people that have tried them, what do you think? Well, Jordan says CS3. Well, I got an idle right here. You do, I have a CS3 right here. You do? There's no screen on the CS3 other than on the back. I, I still miss on the TM40 when it would go I know, that's what I was waiting for, but like, it didn't. It? But the display screen, it is reset, uh, recessed within the grip, so you guys don't really have to worry about that. It's, I mean, the, the placement on it, it's not bad. Your thumb doesn't touch it whatsoever. Well, so, so. I was say, grab it normal and then turn your hand so we can see where, so the, your thumb's hitting the bottom part. Yeah, I mean, if you were literally shooting the gun, I mean, my thumb is literally in this, in that groove there. And if so, you're shooting left-handed, uh, your yeah, palm, I mean, if you're, but, I mean, you your palm's really going to completely cover the screen if you're a lefty. But who cares? You no, yeah. Care. I mean, you're not, yeah. you're playing. But how baseball. does it feel cosmetically? Like, do you notice it? No, I don't feel it at all. I just feel the grip because the screen is pressed, recessed within the grip. So, yeah. Let me no. see. Let me see. Okay. No, don't turn it off. Aw. I, I want to hear the noise. So, my thumb's a little higher up, but yeah, it, it's. Oh, that's right. Marks the southpaw. That's right. And on the south? Yeah. 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 I mean, you could argue like this. Let me turn it around. This ridge here sticks out just a little bit, but but if you're wearing gloves or even have your half hand right, over, you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna notice. notice. Not even gonna notice it. And it's sick because you can look and be like, oh, battery power low. Oh no. Oh no. It might just tell you, Mark. Who knows? But CS3, it's it's comfy too. Obviously, there's screens on the back and not on the side, but it's this and that. You're, I mean, these are both high end guns. So I mean, yeah, you're not going to go wrong with either one. What was his, what was his main question? Though? Uh, he just thought that the, the screen might throw off his grip. No, the screen won't throw off your grip. Like Mark said, you're probably going to be wearing either half hands on your elbow pads or, uh, or gloves. So you're not going to notice the screen on the idle. Both of these, the CS3 and the idle are great guns. So you're not going to, you're not going to go wrong. I mean, I think the bigger thing is could be wrong, but I feel like the, the CS3 grip and all like thicker, is a little right? thicker. Yeah. It's a little bigger to hold on to. Yeah. You get a little more ergonomic with the Lux, but yeah, yeah, not enough to make a difference. Now, screen's not going to affect you, so you go with whatever company that you want to support. Yay. Indecisiveness. Um, Shane. Shane Shane says, what is a better marker, the PE Etha 3 or the Dairaz CZR? Can we get a comparison video between the two? No. I'm sure at some point we probably in time did one. Did but one. I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird price point difference, though, between them, isn't it? Because this is what? It's like 300. Those are like, no, those are around, they went on sale. Oh. Those are around like 300 bucks these days, okay. the Rises, and these are around 400. So I think yeah, so another I 100 or so for the Etha 3. Mm. I mean, for me personally, I like the Ether 3 because it doesn't have the macro line. You don't have to fuss and muss with the plastic macro line and it leaking. And I'm a bigger guy. 
So this, for me, the space between the grip frame of the trigger and even in here when I'm gonna grab it with my thumb, um, the ETA 3 is is more comfortable for me, but smaller kids out there, the Dairai CZR sells really well for us. Uh, what do you think, Mark, in your opinion? I mean, I prefer the ETA 3 slightly just because I like that ergonomics and the look of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a an entry-ish level to mid-range electronic marker hey, look that's going to keep do. up. And, oh, yeah, well, I can kind of... No, I can't. I'm too weak. I can twist the rubber ring on my rag. <laughs> I can twist my hand around this. You know, this, this, I mean, at this point, die, get rid of the freaking macro line. What are you doing? You're the last to hold that's out. That's probably what's on their agenda next, I would assume. So we'll see. But I mean, even the Empire Mini GS doesn't have a macro line. No. Die's going to get there. I got faith in them. But I got I mean, faith. The die barrels are classic and everybody loves them. The, the hourglass yeah, frame. Yeah, I mean, it's it's there, but Etha 3, if you can afford it. If not, this will still get you out playing. Uh, oh, both of them fully programmable, electronic, and all that. Just depends on, yeah. I mean, are more you, colors available in this if you want a certain color. Yeah, I think there's maybe three. Yeah, you got a maybe, black earth and maybe a combination. And an HD urban. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. So, uh, I mean, at the bottom line, I'd actually probably be looking at either the Etha three or the Mini GS more, uh, but that's just me. True. True that. So that's it. That's it. That's yeah, all the questions? Yeah, that's all the questions. You guys, if you have anything else, like Mark said, I mean, we have a lot of videos to do. It's going to be a couple weeks. But if you guys need something urgent or if you have a question right now, call us 1-800-875-WOLF. Oh! Wolf is 9653. What, what are the old phones? You could actually yeah, see the numbers on there. The uh where you have to press it three times. Correct, whatever, yeah, boop, 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 we're just old. So check it out. Uh, it's the Ask Us Anything page on the Facebook. And until next time, we will see you guys Later. Go get some gear. Lomo Paintball.com.